Now, let's start by creating a new project for this particular RPA challenge. Click on process and type the process name RP challenge and description RP challenge then create as we have seen earlier it's trying to add dependencies and creating the workspace for us if I just go to the project by default I have the main .saml file I'm trying to drag a sequence here once that is done first thing that I have to do is I have to read the Excel so that I can fetch the information from Excel and try to enter that into the website called RPA challenge let me open this particular projects folder by clicking over there okay this is our project I'll try to get that input file I'm just copying it and will paste it here fine now I'll return back to the project I'll refresh it so here's my input file to read this to read any Excel we have few activities for that it's read range activity read range activity is available under workbook which is in turn available in file and file is available in system okay I'm trying to drag read range here read range is an activity used to read an excel file sheet if I just check in the properties it has a display name the inputs are range from where we want to read it okay we want to read from a1 to whatever row it is available or wherever it ends if I just open this particular input file so it starts from A1 and ends at G11 fine now it is expecting to pass the workbook path click on this browse for file and select the file that we are working with so it's there okay then so there is a sheet name that it expects sheet name for our input file is sheet 1 so that's fine for us then okay so the input file that we have contains headers so we have to check this option if it is password protected we have to pass the password to as we don't have any password for that we can leave it blank okay and the output is a data table output data table object in which the read data is stored so basically whenever we deal with some excels which contains rows and columns instead of reading the excel file every time we read it and store it in a view okay which is non-existence okay a view of whatever Excel we have which is called data table so if I just click control K and give the name to it as DT and then press enter a variable is generated of data type the scope of this is sequence fine what I will do right now is I have read the Excel how can I display that how can I check if it's working fine I have an activity called output data table 
to this I can pass the data table that we have and I can create a string I've created it and then I have a message box into which I can show that particular message and saving it okay let me click on run here is the data table that we have just read okay this confirms that it was able to read that particular excel great